I'm standing in the pond, it's usually a reflecting pool that reflects our capital. But of course, the middle of winter, it just started snowing, the pond is empty. You see the capital with all the scaffolding, they're doing a lot of renovation work on the capital. We just heard the tap bells chiming the hour. Um, but what a chicken skin moment for me, you know, being up here in the nation's capital and listening to the State of the Union speech, a guest of our seniors, of our Senator Maisie Hirono, um, hearing our President Barack Obama, a native born Keiki Oka'aina, talking at the end of his speech about Hawaii building being the melting pot of all races and a place of great equality. And the fact that he comes from this place and is appealing to the nation on racial issues to come together gave me chicken skin, made me so proud to be mayor of the city and county of Honolulu. And to hear this man talk, um, it was a historic moment for me. I also like the fact they talked about issues like global warming, something that Congress refuses to embrace and is trying to encourage people to do so. Of course, living on the island of Oahu, we're worried about sea level rise. Other high points is you know, pay equality for women, something I really worked hard on when I was in the State House of Representatives. Free education for community college students, just like our high schools. What a way to help people move on and get a better education to make a, more, more money to live on a very expensive island. Uh, these were some of the things I liked the most. I'm also up here on business um, for the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and I took some time away this morning to meet with Peter Rogoff, the Undersecretary of the U.S. Department of Transportation. He used to be the administrator for the Federal Transit Administration. We met with him to talk about our cost increases. Came away feeling very positive. He's 100% supportive of the project. Um, he shares our concern about finding money. He's willing to help us find additional sources of revenue, like perhaps highway funds, federal highway funds that could be used to help with utility relocations, but came away that we know we still have a strong partner in the federal government, that we're going to be working together to make sure that we build our state, our, our train stations and our rail project, 20 miles long, 21 stations, 80 cars, to serve people long into the future. So it's great to be up here. We've still got a lot more work to do, and I'm going to be working as hard as I can for the rest of this week.